Welcome to ASVAB Tutoring. In this video, we will go over 15 questions of biology for the HESI A2 test preparation. To practice more, download the HESI test prep from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Question 1. Which of the following biomolecules is the main source of energy for living organisms? A. Proteins. B. Carbohydrates. C. Lipids. D. Nucleic acids. The answer is B. Carbohydrates are the primary source of energy for living organisms. They are broken down into glucose, which is then used by cells to produce ADP, adenosine triphosphate, the main energy currency in the body. While proteins and lipids can also be used for energy, carbohydrates are the most readily available and preferred source especially for immediate energy needs. Question 2. Which of the following is a disaccharide composed of glucose and fructose? A. Maltose B. Sucrose C. Lactose D. Cellulose The answer is B. Sucrose is a disaccharide composed of one glucose molecule and one fructose molecule. It's commonly known as table sugar and is widely found in plants. When consumed, sucrose is broken down by the enzyme sucrase into its constituent monosaccharides, glucose, and fructose, which are then absorbed into the bloodstream and used for energy. Question 3. Which enzyme is responsible for breaking down proteins into amino acids? A. Lipase B. Amylase C. Protease. D. Nuclease. The answer is C. Protease is the enzyme responsible for breaking down proteins into amino acids. It works by cleaving the peptide bonds that hold amino acids together in protein molecules. This process occurs in the stomach and small intestine, allowing the amino acids to be absorbed and used by the body for various functions including building and repairing tissues. Question 4. What is the primary function of DNA in cells? A. Energy storage. B. Providing structural support. C. Catalyzing reactions. D. Storing genetic information. The answer is D. The primary function of DNA in cells is to store genetic information. DNA contains the instructions needed for the development, functioning, growth, and reproduction of all living organisms. It encodes the information required to produce proteins, which carry out most of the functions within a cell. This genetic information is passed from one generation to the next, ensuring continuity of life. Question 5. Monosaccharides are the simplest form of A. Proteins b. Carbohydrates c. Lipids d. Nucleic acids The answer is b. Monosaccharides are the simplest form of carbohydrates. They are single sugar molecules such as glucose, fructose, and galactose, which serve as the building blocks for more complex carbohydrates like disaccharides and polysaccharides. Monosaccharides are easily absorbed and utilized by the body for energy, making them essential components in the metabolism of living organisms. Question 6. DNA and RNA are examples of A. Carbohydrates B. Proteins C. Lipids D. Nucleic acids The answer is D. DNA and RNA are examples of nucleic acids. These molecules are essential for storing and transmitting genetic information in cells. DNA holds the instructions for building proteins and RNA translates and carries out these instructions during protein synthesis. Together, they play a critical role in the growth, development, and functioning of all living organisms. Question 7. Which type of lipid forms the bilayer structure of cell membranes? A. 
triglycerides. B. Steroids. C. Phospholipids. D. Waxes. The answer is C. Phospholipids form the bilayer structure of cell membranes. Each phospholipid molecule has a hydrophilic, water-attracting, head and two hydrophobic, water-repelling, tails. In a cell membrane, phospholipids arrange themselves in a bilayer, with the heads facing outward toward the water inside and outside the cell, and the tails facing inward creating a semi-permeable barrier that controls the movement of substances in and out of the cell. Question 8. Enzymes are biological catalysts made up of a. Carbohydrates b. Proteins c. Lipids d. Nucleic acids The answer is b. Enzymes are biological catalysts made up of proteins. They accelerate chemical reactions in the body by lowering the activation energy required for the reactions to occur. Each enzyme is specific to a particular reaction or type of reaction, and they play a vital role in processes such as digestion, metabolism, and DNA replication. Their protein structure allows them to be highly efficient and specific in their catalytic functions. Question 9. Cellulose, a structural component of plant cell walls, is a polymer of which monosaccharide? A. Glucose B. Fructose C. Galactose D. Ribose The answer is A. Cellulose is a polymer of glucose. It consists of long chains of glucose molecules linked together by beta-1 for glycosidic bonds. This structure provides rigidity and strength to plant cell walls, making cellulose a crucial component for maintaining plant structure and integrity. Unlike starch and glycogen, which are also glucose polymers, cellulose's specific bonding gives it a unique, rigid structure. Question 10. Which of the following is an example of a polysaccharide? A. Glucose. B. Fructose. C. Starch. D. Sucrose. The answer is C. Starch is an example of a polysaccharide. It is composed of long chains of glucose molecules linked together, and it serves as a major energy storage form in plants. Polysaccharides, like starch, are complex carbohydrates that can be broken down into simpler sugars, monosaccharides, for energy. Glucose and fructose are monosaccharides, while sucrose is a disaccharide. Question 11. The process of converting glucose into energy in the presence of oxygen is called a. Glycolysis b. Fermentation c. Photosynthesis d. Respiration The answer is d. The process of converting glucose into energy in the presence of oxygen is called respiration. Specifically, aerobic respiration involves glycolysis, the citric acid cycle, Krebs cycle, and oxidative phosphorylation, electron transport chain. During this process, glucose is broken down, and its energy is used to produce ADP, adenosine triphosphate, the primary energy carrier in cells. Question 12. What is the main function of triglycerides among lipids? A. Energy storage. B. Enzyme function. C. Genetic information storage. D. Cellular structure. The answer is A. The main function of triglycerides among lipids is energy storage. Triglycerides consist of three fatty acids linked to a glycerol molecule. They are stored in adipose tissue and can be broken down into fatty acids and glycerol to provide energy when needed. This makes them a key source of long-term energy storage and insulation in the body. Question 13. Which type of nucleic acid is involved in protein synthesis? A. DNA. B. RNA. 
C. mRNA. D. tRNA. The answer is B. RNA is involved in protein synthesis. Specifically, messenger RNA, mRNA, carries the genetic code from DNA to the ribosomes where proteins are synthesized. Transfer RNA, tRNA, helps in translating the mRNA code into a sequence of amino acids by bringing the appropriate amino acids to the ribosome. Thus, while mRNA and tRNA are crucial for the process, RNA as a broader category encompasses their roles in protein synthesis. Question 14. What is the structural unit of nucleic acids? A. Amino acids. B. Monosaccharides. C. Nucleotides. D. Fatty acids. The answer is C. The structural unit of nucleic acids is nucleotides. Each nucleotide is composed of a phosphate group, a 5-carbon sugar, deoxyribose in DNA and ribose in RNA, and a nitrogenous base. Nucleotides link together to form the long chains of DNA and RNA, which carry genetic information essential for cellular functions and protein synthesis. Question 15. What functional group do phospholipids attach that lets them form the bilayer structure of cell membranes? A. Amino group. B. Phosphate group. C. Hydroxyl group. D. Carboxyl group. The answer is B. Phospholipids attach a phosphate group, which enables them to form the bilayer structure of cell membranes. The phosphate group is part of the hydrophilic head of the phospholipid, which interacts with the aqueous environment inside and outside the cell. The hydrophobic tails, which are fatty acids, face inward, away from water, creating a semi-permeable membrane that controls the movement of substances into and out of the cell. To practice more, download the HESI test prep from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.